Hey guys, we are in Phoenix, Arizona, and we are replacing some cooling towers, fairly decent sized cooling towers. They're Evapco's, you can see them right there. Uh, they were over 20 years old, uh, put in in the late to mid 90s. Um, Smiley is our crane company today. Uh, there's another bottom half waiting to go onto a trailer. But this side here, this cooling tower, which is a true cooling tower, you can see it here, has really taken the test of time. And I'm gonna show you around of what water does, obviously to a tower, including the scale and line, but look at the rust. Now the thing I wanna focus in on is the rust and the age of the tower. Even though it's 20 years old, we ended up having to belly band with chains through the tower instead of using the top hooks. Now inside the Evapco tower, there's top hooks where you can actually crane uh, from the inside through some hooks that are located up in this corner right here, in the top of this corner are some hooks. But this tower is just literally coming apart. And I wanted to show you, as they began to lift, that's a, that's a structure, actually a tear crack that's in the metal. You can see the daylight where it actually started to pull apart from the rust. You can see that daylight right there from the rust. And right here, look at this. It actually began to rip the hooks out. And we couldn't get through to pull the tower because these legs, the legs or these supports were starting to rip out and it shouldn't. Now on the new towers that lifts exactly the same way and structurally it's sound enough to do it. Now this is the bottom half of the cooling tower, but look at the amount of rust and it just was just breaking apart. Now here's the top half. And the top half has the fan motors and the fan blades. And here's the water side. Now I kind of wanted to focus on the water side. The water side actually with a 20 year old tower is not that bad. You can see right here, there's some egg shell and egg you know, shell right here from calcium and, and lime and scale. But here's the metal. And so it didn't actually that bad. It did pretty well over time, the age of it uh, with over 20 years old. You can see right here, it's minimal, minimal egg shell. And here's the tower with actually the, the steel on the inside. But it didn't do that bad. It, the inside of the piping didn't didn't do too bad. And but the outside, man, not so much. Look at that. There's daylight. You can kind of see some daylight right in there. We'll walk around again to show you the other side. Again, large amounts of rust. Here's the the hot water side. Hot water side of it, or the inlet side of the tower. Again, continual rust. Huge degradation of the tower as we go around the other side. Here's your fan motors, your blades. You can kind of see on the inside the blade right there. Again, a lot of rust. No structural compromise to the blades. All of the compromise was on the outside. Again, here's another motor. These are 15 horsepower motors. You can see here, I'll get down the inside, you can see that rust on the inside. And again, there's a column right here, structural column that holds the upper section that was just breaking away. Now, we want you to, actually I want to note this to you. When we craned off the upper section, this section right here, it came out at almost 8,000 pounds this upper section, actually the bottom section here was 8,000 pounds. The top section, no big deal, not a problem. But this side, where you can see the rust and the scale, this bottom section was almost 8,000 pounds. Now we've already craned up its replacement, the brand new bottom section, and the brand new bottom section was just over 3,500 pounds. So I mean, you're looking at a 4,500 pound difference and we really believe that that 4,500 pound difference is because the amount of scale and uh, lime and hard water deposits that's up inside the cooling media that you see right there, uh, you know, or diffusers, a lot of people call it cooling media, the deck, the cell deck, you know, this is where the cooling happens, but all the slime, not slime, but lime and scale. Now here's the cold water side didn't fare as well a little bit more that's going on on the inside 
And, uh, you know, the tower, she did its job for being a 20-year-old tower. It definitely took care of itself. It, it did what it needed to do. But again, you can really see what's happening. You see that rust, that metal it tore. I mean, it just absolutely tore away. <clears throat> here, you can kind of look through here. You can see that right there. Where it just tore away. And this is a, an Evapco tower, cooling tower. You can see right here again. And this is a 20 plus year old tower. We're thinking about 22, maybe 25 year old cooling tower from the guys at Evapco. Again, more rust. Here's your overflow, your drain line, your overflow. Here's your water in. You can kind of look and see here. I'll reach inside here. It's all just galvanized up. Not galvanized, but I mean, it's all rusted up. It's horrible. Look at the amount of rust. And this is in the water side. This is, this, you know, this is right here is in that water side. And uh, holy cow, what a mess. This is your float. We broke the float away. Here's your float parts. But look at the metal just coming away. So this is a cooling tower. A very old one, 20 to 25 years old. Just wanted to show you some of the stuff that's going on. The rust, the scale, the lime, not slime, the lime. And what happens when this rust gets in here and there's just a structural mess. So this is Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, again, thanks to uh, Vita Pro Pack and DeWalt here, my two favorite tools outside of Fluke and uh, many others that I'll put links in the bottom. Here's its sister tower that was right next to it. Again, uh, not as rusted. We think that this is the secondary tower and the one that we looked at earlier was the primary tower. But uh, a good product from Evatco. It made 20 to 25 years. So again, work safe, be safe, be good humans, and we'll see you next time.